Here with CMO wide receiver Ryan Flournoy. Ryan, the first question is, man, you're one of the four FCS guys that got the invite to be down here in Mobile. Talk a little bit about your mentality, what you want to prove. Is yeah, I definitely have a chip on my shoulder. Um, the helmet I got on compared to other helmets, but that don't matter. Um, definitely blessed to be in the situation I'm in. I just want to prove that I'm one of the best in the draft. Talk a little bit about your career at SEMA, man. The last two seasons, I mean, man, all the American honors, all conference honors. You're one of the best wide receivers in the country. What's one thing that SEMO helped you develop as a player that you're going to take with you to the next level? Yeah, just leadership as a player. Um, when I had the SEMO, was a lot of the, the program wasn't where it needed to be, but it's, it's a hell of a program, man. I love SEMO. I'm a Red Hawk forever. But it was just, um, yeah, they taught me how to be a leader. Talk about your takeaways from the first few days of practice. What's some feedback that you've gotten on stuff that you do really well, but also stuff you need to improve on moving forward? Yes, sir. Um, so, got a lot of praise on my catching and my hands. Um, first couple of days went good. I went 110% every rep, but I just need to, really, my routes need to be polished up more, but that's, that's about it. Have you met with any teams, or how many have you met with, and has anyone stuck out during the interview process? Um, yeah, I met with about 16 teams um, Monday or Tuesday. Um, yeah, teams, I, I would love to go to any one of the teams I've spoken to, so I wouldn't say anybody spoke. You showed your versatility in practice, man, being able to play the slot, but also being able to go outside and be a more physical wide receiver. Where do you feel most comfortable in an offense, and where do you feel like your skill set thrives the most? Yeah, I feel like I'm a playmaker, so even where if I'm in the slot or outside, I feel like if a play is right, I, I can make the play, so I'm, I'm comfortable everywhere. Have you come down here with a chip on your shoulder at all, knowing that you know when you get here, people might not even know where Simo is or what, or, or asking you? And and I hate the term small school prospect, man. You just come out here to prove you're the best prospect here. Have you have you used that chip on your shoulder at all? Ah, oh, yes, for sure. Like a lot of people ask me where you go. I went to Simo. Like where is that at? And it's I want to put Simo on the map. I want to put my name on the map. So I definitely got a chip on my shoulder. Two more questions, man. Looking over your two years at Simo, what's the single best memory you have over your two seasons? Um, to be unselfish, I'd say winning the, the championship, the con our conference championship, man, it was a joy to win with my brothers. And then the final, the, the final question, man, when you look over the, the next few days here, man, is there a goal that you set for yourself that you want to achieve by Saturday? Guys, I want the world to know Ryan Flynn I love it, man. And what would it mean to you to be one of the first players, yeah, I mean, you're the only the second player to be at the Senior Bowl from, from CMO. What would it mean to you to be the next player to be drafted out of CMO? I mean, it's everything. I mean, it's everything to my family to be drafted and just me to be in the NFL is my dream. So it means everything.